Slim bricks, construction material. In between we have white thing, which is probably uh, salt and gypsum, which was mixed up. Our ancestors, they used camel wool uh, as the protection from the insects. This is how most of the wells were protected from insects and bugs. And um, in case when the enemy was approaching to the city, uh, the best way to, to poison the enemy was Camel. No, uh, water in the well. They will oh. be definitely drinking water. Right. You have to poison the water. But how you can poison the water in sorry. the well? No. It's water. This it's one. Water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's poison. <laughs> uh, how? It, yeah. It, I mean, if you put this, I mean, snake poison that wouldn't work because it will dissolve. Camel dung. Camel. Camel dung. Yeah, camel probably yes, but then again, in you have a lot of water in the well, and it's coming and coming. That that won't work. What's the oh, best? Salt. 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 Exactly. Salt is the best way to poison uh, the water and to poison the enemy, because salt probably will not be dissolved hundred percent for uh, at won't least clinch. a couple of months. And within that period, when the army, uh, the enemy's army would, would be here, uh, all of them would try to drink that water and they're gonna die. That's, that was the best way. And actually when the enemy was leaving this city or any other city, the people who were here, they knew how to get rid of salty water. And do you know how to get rid of salty water? Evaporation. Evaporation? Well, probably. Camel hair. Camel hair, okay, yeah. <laughs> By the way, yes, camel hair and those saxole shrubs, the ashes, that's why we burn them. We usually cook the food from saxole. Camels eat it and we cook the food. We heat, we used to heat up our rooms under floor heating, but the ashes we never throw. We used to mix it up with camel wool and put it in between the bricks for the wells yeah. and it was functioning as a carbon filter so that it was absorbing all the salt in itself mm -hmm. but even in that case it didn't help it didn't help because you still have some salt left at the bottom but how to get rid of the salt which is at the bottom there is only one way and Wait. it will take about three hours <coughs> uh-huh I don't know what you make the filter out of, but the salt will wind up on the top of the water. Why the water? Just Silk. Steam the water, why the water? It will be anyway salt. Yeah. It, will, it, will, it will be salt. Even if you steam the water, even if you boil it, it will remain. Yeah. Even if you add more afterwards, it will remain. And charcoal. There is only one way. Charcoal? Char even charcoal wouldn't help. The only way the only way to get rid of uh, the salt uh, in that water and to bring it back to normal is to dry it up, pull out, let's say, four bricks from the bottom, pull them out and put it on the top. And the one on the top, put them put at them the bottom, bottom to switch the places of the bricks. Yeah. That's the only solution. It will take about three hours, not more than that. And the local people, they knew about this. This is how uh, Mongolian army was poisoned. This is how uh, anti-religious people were poisoned because they were drinking salty water. Uh, I heard from um, mm. some people, I mean before, and even I guess I heard from you that uh, you got a salty, salty food. Something was salty, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's, I mean, nowadays it's because of the Ramadan, the people, the chefs who cook, they keep on fasting during the daytime, they cannot taste because it's not allowed even to swallow, even uh -huh. to taste, even to brush teeth, and n nothing. That's why sometimes it becomes a little bit salty, but it's because of Ramadan. But uh, for this one, for the wells, the best way is to switch the places of the bricks. When you switch them, uh, you, you get rid of uh, salt because this one will remain um, in the air. So it, the water doesn't reach this level. And you have new bricks already at the bottom because the bricks absorb everything in itself. Mm. That's why the, the bricks, they are so long lasting. And that's why we can see this original piece from, uh, 
600s, that's the oldest. You won't find anything older than this in uh, Bukhara, in Uzbekistan. I think even in Central Asia you won't find anything older. Wow. Than